Hey guys, what I'm going to show you is a palm that has naturalized on its own with no human intervention. So this is a palm tree that naturalized uh, just outside of Wendy's kitchen window at her last location. And uh, we moved it here about, I'm going to say close to 10 years ago. So I think 2013 we moved it here, in the spring of 2013. So this palm right there, and it's growing kind of wild on this part of our property. It's lots of palms growing with native plants. There's euphorbias in here and there's rhodos and stuff, but there's salal and sword ferns. But this palm, she believes a bird or a squirrel or something dropped the seed outside of her uh, kitchen window and it, she watched it grow as a seedling to a nice palm tree. So this is what it's looking like at our place. And I'd say this one's pretty much neglected. And this is where we are. We're down uh, south slope of the palm uh, nursery. There's the greenhouse up there. and palm nurseries all up in there and then there's lots of palm trees just kind of growing on their own down here there's waggies and this and that and the other and like I say lots of rhodos we have a lot Wendy's planted a lot of rhodos in here that's all native evergreen salal and organ grape and all the ferns here you see are all evergreen they're all native uh, sword ferns so anyway that is a hundred percent self-seeded naturalized palm tree with no human intervention. The only intervention it had was getting it, we transplanted it from her last location south of Ganges on Salt Spring Island to this location on the very north end and about just about a decade ago and it's done very well and it's kind of growing in more shade here so it does have stretch petioles on it but that's okay. It's uh, happy with the native uh, sword ferns and everything else that grows around it. So that is a Trachycarpus fortuni palm tree. All right. Thanks for watching, guys, and uh, plant a palm. You can't grow wrong. Cheers.